So we talk a lot about setting your horse up for success. So what can we do to set a, a horse that might want to bolt up for success when we first go to ride? Um, and the answer is, we continue to engage their mind. So how am I gonna do that? And the answer that I use most of the time is lateral work. So what that means is if I have a horse that's maybe a little bit apprehensive, that's a little bit squirrely underneath me, the quickest way that I can get into trouble is if I just have them walk in a straight line with my reins loose like this. Because the horse has a lot of time on their hands and they have a lot of space where they can get into trouble. So instead, we're going to put her right into lateral work. So in our arena, what that means is we're going to take her down and we're going to have her work left and right through the poles, okay? So we're going to do that. We'll demonstrate that in just a second. Another thing you can use are your barrels. Have your horse go around barrels. Um, have your horse, again, do things where they're turning, where they're flexing. A second thing that we can do um, is called... Um, is uh, doing a full lateral flex yield. And so we'll demonstrate that right now. So the flexion yield, I'm gonna move my horse a little bit away from the mounting block here, just so she doesn't run into that as she flexes. So with lateral flexion, I'm basically asking the horse to yield their head into me and not be in a position where they're gonna run off. So how I do that is I start with my hands right in the middle. I'm gonna take up the slack in one of my reins and I'm gonna bring that arm to my hip, okay? So I take the slack up and I'm gonna just sit that hand on my hip. Now I haven't practiced this with Stella. This is Stella's first day in training here doing these things. So I just hold that rein at my hip. I don't want it moving back and forth. I just hold, hold, hold until she's going to tip her nose in towards that cinch. So I hold, 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 and there should be a really significant dip in towards the cinch. And again, I don't change. She can pull her head back and forth. That doesn't matter. My um, resistance or the amount of pressure I have stays exactly the same because I'm just parked out right at my hip. And see how she did a really nice tap in right to my shoe in the cinch? I take that tension off right away and I tell her, good girl. So that's a lateral flexion yield. Um, you can also use that to do, you know, build on your one rein stops, things like that if you get into trouble um, on a trail. So we're going to try that again for that demonstration. So I start in the middle of my rein. I make sure I'm not pulling on both sides. I want it to be clear that it's a one rein flex. I'm sliding my hand down. I'm going to bring my hand right to my hip. And again, if she moves, I don't get after her. I just uh, keep that uh, resistance or pressure the same so that she figures out that that's not the answer. And then the um, tension doesn't release until she yields. That nose tips it right in towards her cinch. So I'm just holding here. Beautiful. And then as soon as she does that yield, I drop the rein like it's on fire. I take that tension off right away. So you can do that before you even walk out to do your moving lateral work you can flex them right off the bat so she did that really nicely again you can do it both directions or you should do it both directions i should say so we bring it right to my hip and again this horse when you put tension on the rein is thinking you want her to move out she's she's just trying to find the easiest answer instead of looking for what i'm actually asking her right now she's just not sure so i just hold that pressure the same now i always park the palm of my hand on the front of my hip bone so that I am not tempted at all to change the amount of tension that I have on her. This hand is literally just hanging out for the ride right there until her nose tips in towards that cinch. We'll just wait and we'll wait. And again, she hasn't done this before. She doesn't know what I'm asking her. That's okay. The rest of my body should be relaxed. You'll catch me even like exhaling. If you're yawning, just doing things that keep your body just really, really chill are helpful for the horse because that translates down through to them. Tucked in towards her cinch, I drop that rein like it's on fire. And this will get better and better and better the more times that she does it. She'll pick up on it quickly. So again lateral flexion yields before even moving out and look at how nicely her head is dropped down below her withers she says hey this is great i'm ready to do it she's ready for her close-up so now we'll walk her out and we will show how to do your lateral work in moving back 
back.